Today we're going to talk about a standard three-phase uh, AC motor and how to, uh, how to connect it, whether it's low voltage or high voltage, the 230 or 460. First thing you'd want to do is look over the motor very closely. A lot of times most manufacturers will either either inside of the junction box or on the some type of a nameplate on the motor itself and that'll determine that'll tell you whether you do have a Y or a delta connection which is going to make a difference on the low voltage connection. If we don't have a connection diagram first thing we need to do is we need to find out whether we either have a Y or a delta configuration on the inside of the motor. First thing we need to do is to determine whether we've got either a Y or a delta internal connection to the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take take a, one, a number that's already identified. Let's say we've got number two and we're going to check to see what has continuity with the number two. We've got one lead that has continuity with number two. And then we're going to continue on. This will be a, a Y connected motor because we've just got combinations of two and we can tell that for sure because our Y is going to be our internal connection. We're going to have continuity between 7, 8, and 9. So we know this is going to be a Y configured motor. If we've got, we end up with, as we're checking continuity, we end up with three combinations of three, then what we've got is a delta configuration and that will change on our high and our low voltage connection. The high voltage connection, whether it's Y or delta, is going to be the same. The low voltage connection will definitely change. So we're going to, we need to find out whether we have a Y or a delta uh, configuration before we go ahead and do it. If we're missing a number on one of our leads, by looking at the actual configuration and checking for continuity, we can pretty much have a good idea which number is missing. If we have, say, one and four has uh, continuity and you've got a one, you're missing number four then we know that the one that has continuity with number one is number four. If you're missing number one and four, or the two in the same phase, then uh, we've got to do this completely different. 